the roar of American armor sounded the death knell for Saddam Hussein's grip on power. The American Marines rolled into the deserted streets of an Iraqi capital that will never be the same again. Armed to the teeth and with little opposition, they began to take control. Word began to spread slowly. As the Marines moved deeper into the city, Iraqis began to shed the fear of decades. They used to chant for Saddam, now they're pledging their loyalty to George W. Bush. Why are you very happy? And then the big push began. They thundered into Baghdad. The roaring sound of tank engines resounding around the city's streets. They drove past the government buildings that had been smashed by three weeks of airstrikes. Though so more and more Iraqis began to greet them. It was looking like a conquering army entering an open city. American armor is moving at will across whole sort of Baghdad. This is just one of the main avenues they're plowing down. People have come out welcoming them, holding up V signs. This is an image taking place across the whole of the Iraqi capital today. They'd arrived and they wanted Iraq and the rest of the world to know. They came to our front door, the hotel where Western journalists had reported the war. More and more Iraqis were gathering to greet the Americans. Nearly three decades of unquestioned rule by Saddam, overturned by young American soldiers who hadn't even been born when he came to power. Uh, the welcome here has been pretty good. Everybody's uh, helped us out, been friendly. So uh, it's better than being shot at. No, I wish we could shoot it up, <laughs> tell you the truth. <laughs> the, the next dramatic hour would prove him halfway right. Ordinary Iraqis wanted to bring it all to an end and tear down the statue of the dictator. At first, the Americans didn't get involved. But these pictures were being beamed live around the world, and they joined in. They began to take charge, and in a moment that spoke volumes about their victorious mood, they wrapped Saddam's face in the stars and stripes. Better judgment won the day, and the old Iraqi flag was produced. And then the Americans prepared to drag him off his pedestal. The symbolism of this moment just can't be, can't be overestimated. It's just the ordinary Iraqis gathered here. This statue is going to be brought crashing down. The symbol of 25 brutal years being brought to an end. This is how regime change was going to be defined. I was standing at the foot of the statue as the breathtaking scene unfolded. 25 years of hatred and rage as they jump up on the statue, trouncing it, they're taking their shoes off, they're smashing it to pieces, they're waving their fists in the air, they're chanting death to the damn. This was the moment these young Iraqis, who'd known nothing else other than Saddam's tyranny, had waited their whole lives to see. Whether Saddam is dead or alive is not relevant. His rule and control has gone. The first sign that things were unraveling came when Baghdad's long oppressed Shia Muslims rose up. Together they chanted that Saddam was the enemy of God. Others simply looted government buildings. They took anything they could get their hands on. 
but everything is not over. Today has been the story of the end of Saddam. Iraq's new era starts tomorrow, one that has difficult and dangerous days ahead of it. Ragi Omar, BBC News, Baghdad.